China and Kazakhstan, a winning tourism cooperation. The Kazakh government has set a goal to increase domestic tourist numbers to 11 million and foreign tourist numbers to 4 million by 2030. Besides, the number of people employed in the tourism industry is expected to reach 800,000 by that time. Kazakh Minister of Tourism and Sports Yermek Marzakpayev said that China is one of Kazakhstan's priority tourism markets and partners, owing to the two countries' geographical proximity and profound historical connections. Kazakhstan plans to attract more Chinese tourists by leveraging its rich nomadic culture, centuries-old history, and unique natural landscapes, the minister added. Tourism cooperation between China and Kazakhstan has been increasingly strengthened in recent years. In November 2017, China established its first-ever tourism office in Astana, making it the first of its kind in a Central Asian country. This office has actively promoted cultural and tourism exchanges between the two nations. Additionally, in November 2023, mutual visa exemption between China and Kazakhstan was implemented, further boosting travel demand from both sides. The Central Asian country of Kazakhstan has witnessed a growing trend in the influx of Chinese tourists this year, establishing itself as a burgeoning outbound travel hotspot. According to statistics from Chinese online travel agency Trip, the number of tourism bookings to Kazakhstan by Chinese tourists this year has increased by 229% year-on-year, and 262% compared to 2019. The number of flight bookings to Kazakhstan has increased more than threefold from a year ago. Almaty, Astana and Oktau are especially favored by Chinese tourists. Currently, Chinese tourists can take direct flights to Kazakhstan from Beijing, Xi'an, Hangzhou, and Yurumki, or enter the country through land ports in Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. Natural scenery and local culture are major attractions, said Su Jia, general manager of a travel agency in Sichuan province. Xinjiang is adjacent to Kazakhstan. Therefore, some Chinese tourists would have a tour in the autonomous region first and then go to Kazakhstan via places like Korgos. It is reported that the Korgos the International Highway Bus Station has four international passenger routes to Kazakhstan, and with the arrival of the peak tourist season, there has been a significant increase in the number of tourists traveling between China and Kazakhstan. The Korgos International Border Cooperation Center, situated in the Korgos area of the China, Xinjiang, Pilot Free Trade Zone, is a constant hub of activity. Spanning the border between China and Kazakhstan, this cooperation center covers a vast area of 5.6 square kilometers. Visitors from China, Kazakhstan, and other nations can freely travel in and out of the cooperation center without the need for visas, allowing them to engage in in person business discussions, trade activities, tourism, and shopping for a maximum of 30 days. The passage connecting China and Kazakhstan within the Cooperation Center has gained popularity as a picturesque spot frequently captured by tourists. Kairat Baderbayev, executive director of the Eurasian International Studies Association in Kazakhstan, said that China's outbound tourism is booming and it is expected that more Chinese tourists will choose to travel to Kazakhstan in 2024. Batter Bay have highlighted that this initiative will contribute to the growth of Kazakhstan's tourism sector and facilitate the improvement of essential infrastructure including roads, hotels, and restaurants. He further emphasized that as Chinese tourists gain a better appreciation of Kazakh culture, traditions, and cuisine, it will foster a more profound cultural exchange between the two nations.